Hey, what's going on, guys? This is MBDC back with another video for you guys here today. And today, we're talking about Supergirl episode 17 called All About Eve. So, this goes without saying, there's spoilers in this video. If you haven't seen the episode, do not watch this video. And also, do not forget to like, share, be subscribed, and leave a comment on this video for your chance to be entered into the giveaway every month. Speaking of giveaway, there are giveaway details in this video, so stay tuned till the end of the video. Do not click out of it early because you may win some stuff. So, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this review and, whew, man. This was like a very, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know lost for words because this is a very uneventful episode. Like there's so much that happened, but it wasn't entertaining. It was, wasn't was eventful. And from the high that we were on last episode, what? Find out about Red Daughter, getting some backstory on Lex, you know, all that stuff. We figure out Lex's master plan. We, we, then we go to this episode. It's like here and now we're there. I don't know how you guys felt about this episode, but it was just not entertaining. And it wasn't a true filler episode because we got some movement in the story, yes, but it just wasn't entertaining. And like last week, like I was watching, I'm like, wait, that's it? Like, wait, what? The episode's over? Like it went by quick. And this week I'm like sitting there and watching him just, and I look and I'm like, oh, I'm only 30 minutes in. Like, I feel like I've been watching this episode for two hours now. And that's just how I felt like through the whole episode. So we got a couple storylines. We got the one with John Jones and him not knowing who he's supposed to be. Because at the end of last season, his dad passed on the symbols of Mars. So he keep all the memories, keep Mars alive. But he's supposed to be a man of peace. And that goes against him. So he's not being himself. We do get... A cameo of Moran, which his dad, which is really good to see him. Don't get me wrong. Like that the cameo was nice. I was like, oh, I didn't expect that. I didn't see it. I was like, oh, okay. But that storyline should have been wrapped up in like five minutes. I'm glad we got resolution this episode, so it doesn't have to keep dragging on, but it shouldn't have it shouldn't last throughout the whole episode in my opinion. I just think that's something that could have been resolved in five minutes. He's Martian Manhunter. Like, let's let the let the boy be Martian Manhunter. Leave him alone. Like, he is Martian Manhunter. Done. End of story. And then we got the other side story of James's sister trying to get him to take psychiatry after his injuries. He's going back to work. He's trying to get back to work. and But he's still sensitive to, like, sound and trauma. And, like, you see him get all, like, ugh, when, like, there's a loud sound. and But he keeps telling his sister he's fine. And at the end, they end up making up after the whole DC attack with Red Daughter, which we'll get to that in a second. He's like, you're right. I need help. Can you please stay? And she's like, I'm not going anywhere. And that's just the writers letting you know that his sister will be here. I guess she got cast to be recurring for the rest of the season. So that's letting you guys know she's not going anywhere. She's not a one episode wonder i just it just felt uninspired to me because we don't know james's sister like when i was watching it it wasn't like oh i can't wait to see what's gonna happen with this it wasn't one of those feelings like oh i can't wait to see how this is gonna end with like the whole james and his sister thing because we don't know his sister it's been four seasons four right something like that <laughs> and we, this is the first we see of James or mention of James's sister. We have no backstory. We have no connection to her. We know she's an army psychiatrist, but we have no connection to her. She doesn't hold any weight on the show. So it's like, eh? It's like, okay, sure, you're a psychiatrist, so whatever. But sorry, it was just uninspired to me. And I was just like, okay, cool. Yeah, James is going to get help now for his trauma. We do find out, or he finds out that Eve, Eve is the one that shot him and Lex was behind it. Because I guess Lex tried to kill him eight times before trying to get to Superman. And he figures out this is the ninth time uh, Lex tried to get to him for his whole mastermind plan with the hair and nail and stuff like that. So, dude, he does find that revelation out. But the big plot of this story was around the Alien Amnesty Act being repealed. So the Alien Amnesty Act, for those of you who don't know, is that gives aliens the same rights as natural born humans. Ben Lockwood is working to get that repealed so aliens do not have the same rights as natural humans. Well, it looks like it's going to go the other way. It looks like it's not going to be repealed. It's going to go against Ben Lockwood, but Ms. Tessmacher has something, something to say about that. And so they're trying to find Te Miss Tessmacher the whole episode. That's like, that's why it's called All About Eve, because they're trying to find her to get to Lex, obviously. She's the weak link. And so they go visit her cousin, or her aunt's house, but her cousin's there, who was suffering from cancer before. And Lena's like, wait, you had cancer, now you're fine. What's like, what's up? And she takes like the pan out of the oven, her hands don't burn, they go. And Lena's like, wait, you got my hair and nail serum, didn't you? 
and she like slams the table and she's like, you guys need to leave. And you see it crushed the table and everything like that. And and so she got actually, she actually got the hair and nail cure. So you see a per, another person that's been affected by the hair and nail who now has powers. So I wonder how widespread this is gonna get, how many people Supergirl's gonna have to take down or fight who has this hair and nail cure from Miss Tessmacher. So, or from Lex and Miss Tessmacher. So that's gonna be interesting. So she tells them, the cousin tells Lena, Supergirl, and Alex to go to the university where she has a secret lab. They find her secret lab and they find out that she's been storing hair and nail, that she's been working on secret projects. And you figure out she's been working on the Metallo project, trying to resurrect dead people. She's tried it on five and failed. But the sixth person was Otis Graves. And so a lot of people are like, how did Otis come back? I thought they died. And why isn't Mercy back if he's back? Well, he was a sixth candidate with the Metallo experiment with the kryptonite heart. And I don't know if he like is like Metallo and he has that or what. We haven't seen it yet, but that's how he came back for those of you who don't know. And that's why Mercy is not back. So that kind of explains it. Makes sense. I wasn't mad at the explanation. I was like, Oh, okay, that, that makes sense why she he's back and she's not back. His sister, so makes sense. And then you see like some Frankenstein guy bust out with the Metallo chest and he, you know, them three versus him and Lena creates some bomb. Alex shoots it, turns him into dust and they take back the Metallo heart. And it was an interesting fight. It didn't mean anything. The guy was not really shown like clear on camera. So he was not meant to be anybody. For those of you who are wondering, he's no one special. He was just there to create a fight because at the end of the day, it is a superhero show. So you have to have a fight scene, I guess. But it was, didn't move the plot along. It didn't do anything special. He wasn't anyone important. It was just there to have a fight scene, which not bad. It wasn't a bad fight scene, but it was there for just that purpose. And there was like no big WTF moments in the episode, I guess. The whole DC thing when the Alien Amnesty Act got approved and you see um, Lex set a trap, which you should have had Lex in the episode, writers. Me and you right now, writers. You should have had Lex in the episode. You messed up. You have him. You cast him. He's awesome. Use him. Use him. But anyway... You see Lex set a trap for Supergirl and puts her in his in his armor and has Kryptonite going through it. So he traps her and then you see Red Daughter pop, pop out with the Supergirl get up on and she's laser vision, heat vision and everybody. She's messing them up. She's lighting DC on fire, lighting the White House on fire. She's going all in. And this is like right after the Alien Amnesty Act had been passed. And so... For those of you who don't like the political stuff, I don't either. It served a purpose this episode. They've been building it up, but I don't either. I don't think it's something that should be a part of superhero shows. I'm not a big fan of it. And it seems like every episode we have some of this political stuff going on, it turns out not to be a very good episode. I hope the writers have learned from this and next season we don't get this kind of stuff. They are committed to it, so they have to finish it out, but not very good. But this episode, it did serve a purpose as a setup for Lex to turn America against Supergirl. Because you see Red Daughter pop out and start attacking the White House dressed as Supergirl. And then you see the president give a statement saying that Supergirl is public enemy number one. Part of Lex's plan, it worked because even if you hate or love aliens, I guess everyone has like that soft spot in their heart for Supergirl. And that can make you sway towards aliens. Well, Lex doesn't want that. So this basically is, is turned everyone unanimously against Supergirl. And so that was his whole plan. And so I think it's going to build up to something interesting towards the back half of the season or towards the end of the season i think it's gonna have a nice conclusion we're gonna be like oh man wow just this episode wasn't it it was not it and just all the like you got no dreamer in a couple episodes didn't have lex all the interesting new characters not on screen it's like what are you guys doing you guys have new interesting characters but we're not using them come on now even for one episode because this wasn't a filler episode it wasn't it wasn't a true filler, so you should have had some more of the new main characters on screen versus James's sister. Yeah, I mean, it just, yeah. So anyway, but yeah, then we figure out Lex is trying to kill um, his mom, trying to kill him and Lena's mom. So, and she has some information on Lex that we're going to find out probably next episode or the episode after that. So eh, we'll see that. That was like the most interesting part to me was like, okay, Lex wants to kill his mom. That's for a good reason. What is that reason? That's the only thing that's kind of like, like grabbed me, like pulled me in a little bit. So anywho, all in all, it was a mediocre episode at best. Did move the plot along a little bit. Wasn't a straight filler episode, but for not being a straight filler episode, there should have been more, should have been more substance in it. It was like a bread 
with just lettuce. I don't know. That's how I felt. It was like, it's a sandwich, yes, technically, but not going to fill you up, not going to do anything. And that's how this episode was. So, uh, yep, that's it for the review. Getting to the good stuff. We're getting to the giveaway stuff. So, giveaway, doing it at the end of each month. This is the month of March giveaway. I'm going to be picking a random person on camera. Did not look before. Didn't pre-pick anyone. I'm not picking anyone who said my channel was the greatest of all time or anything crazy like that. I'm just going to go through, scroll, and pick someone random. So, stay tuned to see if you're the winner of the giveaway and what I'm actually giving away. So, I am in my YouTube comments and my creators. Okay, my... And I'm just going to scroll through and pick a random comment here in a second. But you guys will be winning. Whoever wins this, just go ahead and private email me. My email is on the back of my channel on the about page at the bottom. Go ahead and email me your contact details. I mean, you will get together and figure this whole giveaway out and you'll get your prize. And obviously like, share and subscribe to win next month's giveaway to have a chance. But you're going to get this cool MBDC merch t-shirt. Yep. It's nice. I know. It's, yeah, I know. I, if I were you, I'd want to rock it too. I, or you can go ahead and download the gift app and win a gift card to any place of your choosing. It will be a $50 gift card for you. There's tons of places on here, tons of restaurants, places. I'll let you go through and pick whatever gift card you want and I will send it to you. Just go ahead and contact me in the back end of my channel. But Let's get to who the winner is. So, picking someone at random. So, Anna Santander, you are the winner. You win this for the month of March giveaway. You win. I'll put it down here so you guys can see it clearly. Anna Santander, go ahead and email me on my email from my about page. And we can figure out if you want to go ahead and rock this lovely merch. <laughs> or get your gift card, either or, your choice. And uh, go ahead and email me. And again... Do not hesitate to be subscribed and leave a comment so you can win next month's giveaway. And let's hurry up and get to 2000 so I can give away that Switch. It's up there collecting dust in my closet right now. Collecting dust. Tell your, tell your friends, your mamas, your daddies, your uncles, your sisters, your, your dogs, your cats, your gerbils. Tell them all to subscribe. Get them all subscribed so we can get to that 2000 so I can give away that Switch because right now it's just looking at me and it's collecting dust. So let's get to that 2000. Let's get that Switch given away. And also, do not forget about the month of April giveaway that will be announced at the end of April. And Anna Santander, go ahead and hit me up so we can get this whole thing sorted out. And uh, this is MBDC. I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace.